2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup began amongst the steel and glass canyons of Shanghai. The best archers on the planet, all aiming for glory, but when the medal matches were decided, 2012 Olympic gold medalist and reigning World Cup champion Ki Bo Bay of Korea took the win. On his international debut, Steve Whaler of the Netherlands claimed gold in the men's competition. The familiar beachfront setting of Antalya in Turkey was the venue for stage two, with the Koreans absent Zenya Perova of the Russian Federation took the top spot. It was a battle between two heavyweights, Jean-Charles Valadon of France and Brady Ellison of the USA in the men's final. The Frenchman took gold. In June, the World Cup tour stopped for the first time in Salt Lake City, Utah, where Korea's men and women dominated. Olympic champion Chang Hai Jin grabbed her first gold medal since her victory in Rio in 2016. And Kim Dong Hyun won the men's final against world champion Kim Woo Jin. Our final stage was Berlin, another debut host city and another weekend where Korea dominated. Kang Cha Yung took the win. And at the third attempt in an individual final this year, Kim Woo Jin finally claimed a stage victory, cementing his world number one status. which brings us to Rome, the Italian capital where history awaits around every corner. Now, the top eight archers in the world go head to head in the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Estadio dei Marmi in Rome. It's Sunday the 3rd of September, and this is Recurve Finals Day of the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup. My name's Stephen George, your commentator for live and uninterrupted coverage of all the matches today. It's bright and sunny here in the stadium, 22 degrees. Perfect conditions for archery, hardly any wind. And we begin today with the quarterfinals of the women's competition. In just a few moments time, followed directly by the semi-finals and finals. And we'll also finish up the morning with the mixed team final to finish things off. Now, about to enter the field of play, the top seven archers in the world right now, plus an Italian from the host nation to represent. And looking at the lineup, Chang Hai Jin there in number one spot, the Olympic champion, Zenia Perova of Russia, her second World Cup final appearance. Tanya Ting, third place in Odense last year. Kibo Bay, the defending champion. Alejandra Valencia ranked at a career high number three in the world. Choi Mi Sun and Kang Cha Yung miss out as Korea already have their two spots lined up. So Deepika Kamari of India, a four times runner up, will take her place alongside Alicia Marin of Spain and representing Italy, Lucia Boari will complete the lineup. And joining me in the commentary box is Steve Anderson of the USA. Third place yesterday in his debut World Cup final. Steve, good morning, congratulations. Thank you, good we'll, to be here with you. We'll talk about your success later, but looking at the draw, who do you think will uh, head into the semi-finals? Uh, I think you'll have uh, an all-Korean semi-final on the one side, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have uh, a tough time picking between Tanya Ting and Deepika Kumari, but I'm gonna go with Deepika to face uh, Ksenia of Russia. Okay, good pick. We'll, uh, I'll note that down, see how we get on by the end. And our first archer here this morning to have a look at, Alicia Maurin, ranked number 18 in the world. Just 20 years old, making her World Cup final debut. And a formidable opponent ahead of her, walking onto the field of play here. Making her second World Cup Represent final appearance. The Russian Federation. Ranked number five in the world this year, Zenia Perova. Well over a decade of international experience per, for Perova and uh, a very new face in Marin. Steve, youth or experience in this one? I'm going to take experience in the first round every time. 
Really? Yeah, I think uh, being out there and having done it before, you know, Alicia has been in some team finals, I believe. I don't know about any individuals this year, whereas Ksenia has, has uh, won a, an individual uh, gold at, at the World Cup stage, as you yeah, mentioned in Italian. In Italian yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, she's a tough cookie, isn't she? So this will be uh, an ask for Marion of Spain, and she will shoot second. And Perova will get us underway this morning in Rome. Got it underway quickly, too. Yeah, not taking too long on the shot there. Marion, too, very speedy. And also an eight. One better for Perova, finding her range. The target face 70 meters away here in recurve archery. It's interesting to see Parava lined up pretty far to the right of the center hash mark there. I'm not sure why. Work for her though, so 27. So Marion needs a 10 to take the set. Oh, she can't find it. So it is Zenia Perova who goes into a two set points to zero lead. The rules in this individual competition, very simple. The individual event is decided by the set system. In each set, each archer has three arrows. They shoot alternately, as you've seen, and the maximum you can score is 30 points in a set. After each set, the scores are totaled up and the archer with the highest score takes the set. The set win is worth two points. A draw is worth one point. The first archer to reach six set points wins the match. If the scores are tied after five sets, we have a single arrow shoot-off. It's a quick-fire sport with very little time for the archers to catch their breath. And already, Zenia Perova has an early lead team. Yeah, and uh, we saw how quickly she was shooting. Um, when, you're, when you're in those early stages of a match, sometimes you can get hung up and not be able to make it through the clicker uh, for a recurve shooter, but she had no issues getting her first few shots fired. So Marin on target number one shakes herself down a little. She will shoot first. Yeah, got to be disappointing for her to have the ability to win the set with a 10 or, or draw with a 9 and to not get either. That's a better response. Another <laughs> four, another 10 for her, but looking good now. Long hold for Marin. Good to salvage a nine, nine out yeah. of that, to be honest. When you hold for a long time, do you do, you do that characteristically or do you just react to the conditions every time? Uh, some people do just hold longer than others. Uh, others, you know, it's just they're not there. Usually your subconscious is firing the shot, right, if you're doing it correctly. So they're not seeing what they need to see to get the shot completed. Um, so for, for me, I mean, yeah, Perova takes a set. So a 4-0 lead for Zenia Perova, and um, it's the first archer to six points who'll take the match, and this one could be over very quickly. Yeah. And a word or two between the archers and their coaches now, and actually it's Marin who needs a bit of a talking to because unless she comes up with a win here, she needs that very much to stay alive in this competition. She's got to leave those bad shots behind now. Yeah, I mean, you have to move on with the one in front of you. You know, that's uh, hard to do because maybe there's some fear that you'll make another bad shot or, or uh, whatever, but you, you've got one in the bow and that's the one that matters now. So playing catch up, really needed to get some set points on the board now. Alicia Marina Spain, just 20 years old. I see Perova still to the right of that hash mark, but she crept about a half meter closer to it. So I'm not sure. That might, you know, it must just be how she likes to align on the target. 
Marin with a nine. Got to stay in the gold, really, if she's going to have any chance of taking this set. But Perova has got the answer. Perova is shooting very fast right now, and you saw that uh, Marin had to eat into her clock a little bit before she even started to draw the bow. So. That's generally not a problem. These recurve archers are fast, and 20 seconds is plenty of time. She finds the tent. A good shot under pressure. Perva again, only a few yeah. seconds. She's firing at about 13 seconds on the clock, so she's she's got a seven-second setup and and uh, from setup to shot. And that in itself puts some pressure on your opponent. Right. Right? Less time to recover. Yeah, and if you haven't shot in a 20-second clock a lot, you you uh, you have to get up and turn around pretty quickly. But a great response from Alicia Marin. Two tens with those arrows for her. So she does take that third set. It's uh, two points for her, four for Perova now, and we have a match. We've got a match. No one's getting swept here. You see that sometimes, don't you? You can go into a 4-0 four, four lead. I guess that's the appeal of the set system, isn't it? That you can you can haul yourself back into a match with a couple of set wins, can't you? Yeah, I mean, it uh, it keeps things a little more exciting. Uh, with a recurve, it's a little easier to have that one bad arrow that could cost you dearly in a cumulative score match. But, uh, you know, you have one bad arrow, you, you throw the set away and you move on to the next one and, and you can still win the day. So a good crowd in this morning in the Estadio de Malmi in Rome. Waiting to see if Marin, still playing catch up here, can level the match. Good start. She looks like she's settled a bit now, yeah. Steve. Yeah, if she holds gold, she'll be okay. If she shoots 29s like last end, she'll, she'll win the match. Perova matching her. Focus back on Marin now. What a, fun, what a time to find a 10. away it's a nice she doesn't look happy with that so Marin now with the opportunity to lock this set up oh and she does the crowd getting louder and louder with every arrow yep as the, uh, as the match gets a little more exciting they're getting, they're getting up again. So cat and mouse stuff here in our first match of the morning. Great to get underway with a tight match. Remember, it's the first archer to six points. He takes it. So we haven't seen a drawn set yet this morning, Steve. And you both archers now kind of getting their getting their level. So we could go right down to a shoot-off here. Would be good to see. It's always exciting, right? My uh, my pick is in jeopardy right now. I, you know, I, I picked the uh, experience over the, the youth. The yeah, you did. Yeah. But you know, the deeper you go into a match, maybe the the more your experience allows you to settle. I don't know. You know, I've never stood out there on the line, and I'm always full of admiration for you guys because I can't imagine the pressure. Yeah, there. I mean, you do have that experience to lean on, but. You know, right now, Alicia is leaning on some, some good ends. Yeah, that's a good way to start for Xenia. Yeah, she's looking pretty smooth now. Yeah. Another 10 for Perova, stage winner in Antalya this year. She yeah, knows how to close out tight matches yeah. like this. And that's hard. It's hard to uh, take a 4-0 lead and close the match. When we used to shoot set system uh, indoors, that was a hard thing to do. Uh, eight for Marin right on the buzzer. 
Is that going to hurt her? Yeah, that's going to do it. That's 29 points for Zenia Perova. So a Mudero to come. And the final arrow for Alicia Marin and victory for Zenia Perova of the Russian Federation. Her experience won out against Marin in the end. She takes the match. 6-2, Marin's first taste of a World Cup Finals ends with an early exit. Perova, an Olympic team silver medalist from Rio last year, is through to the semi-finals here in Rome. That was a really good way to get us underway, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a, it was a good match. And, you know, the, the uh, seeds played out as they should, some would say. And I think we, uh, we got a couple barn burners ahead of us now. I think this next one could be the best match of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great phrase. I love that. <laughs> I was talking to, uh, to um, your t team manager, Rob Metzer, yesterday. He was talking about filling up the middle, which was another phrase that I really liked. Yeah, you get some as many arrows in the center as you possibly can. Getting some Americanisms there. Yeah, well, you know, well, I'm sure uh, the more relaxed I get, the more uh, English idioms you'll have to decode <laughs> as well. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this next match, as we look at uh, great slow-mo pics of uh, Zenia Perova celebrating her win. Yeah. As the field is cleared. Next, uh, a match between another young archer who's had five podium finishes over the course of this World Cup season versus one of the most recognisable names and faces in world archery, actually, and a runner-up four times in World Cup finals, which is why you've said this could be... Uh, yeah, a, a, a barn potential burner. Classic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Translated, that means a, a good match. Yeah. So, out of these two that we're about to see, what are you looking for? Um, you know, I think whoever can start fast is going to probably take the win. And that's uh, generally how it is, regardless. So it's not like I'm saying anything, uh, you know, prophetic there. But if we can get. Uh, if we can get a, a good 